It's important that the fabric hits about hip height when you're standing next to it. That will prevent you from hitting your head when you go upside down in monkey hang. You'll place your knee into the hammock fabric, grab on with both hands, come into the hammock and turn and sit. So you're sitting in what we call bucket seat. It's like sitting in a 70s swing. You'll reach your hands back behind you to find both arms come out through the hole in the fabric and grab on strong. See how she's wrapping her entire hand around the fabric. And she starts just by sitting up tall. And we have a little rhyme and I'll tell it to you. Helps us remember how to do monkey hang. So she sits up tall, grabs on strong, take a deep breath, breathe slow and long. Eyes look high, legs go wide, lean way back, feet and toes wrap. Join the gang, now you're in monkey hang. And hands let go at the very end and one at a time. Um, then she can rest here in monkey hang and you can do different tricks from that. To come out, she grabs for the fabric in between her calf and her thigh, unhooks her feet, looks up to the ceiling and uses the strength of her arms to pull up into sitting. Then anytime you come up from an inversion, you drop your head. See how she's dropped her head and leaned forward? And that, my friends, is how you do monkey hang. Enjoy. One thing to keep in mind that we teach kids in aerial yoga is to always trust uh, the cues that your body gives you. So if uh, monkey hang is uncomfortable for your child in any way, so it could be physically uncomfortable, um, then an option is to go watch our how to use your squishy pad video and it shows you how to uh, modify for discomfort around the back um, using the squishy pad. Another thing to think about is that not all kids enjoy going upside down or having their feet off the ground. Some people might get um, nauseous or be fearful when they go backwards. And I've had a lot of those kids in my class and actually um, because the pose is so fun, they have a little bit of an increased motivation to try it. And what I typically do is just allow them to go only as far back as they want to go. So maybe they only go back enough to bring their feet up to the hammock and then they wrap their feet without dropping their head back so their head stays um, up. And you'll see a couple of pictures of this in some of the video, some of the photos to follow. So hopefully that helps. Um, always we listen to our bodies and we respect the cues that we feel and we make modifications um, both in aerial yoga and through life. So, As you can see, monkey hang is a really fun pose. You can build poses from it, you can make it into a partner pose with someone else on the ground, or it can be done as a group pose. But because kids are having so much fun in this one, they don't notice that they are receiving so many benefits towards brain development, sensory integration, and self-regulation of the nervous system. Memorizing the sequence of body movements to get into monkey hang is a great way to develop, develop cognitively and to develop body awareness and motor coordination. Inverting the head is incredibly regulating for the nervous system. It can help a lethargic or aloof child help regulate to a more alert state, say, do it before homework, it can help a child that's feeling overly energetic calm down so they can attend or focus or just come to sit at the dinner table afterwards. Additionally, the spine is receiving traction in the inversion, which can be very regulating information to the sensory system of proprioception. So any kind of traction when hanging upside down is helpful. And the hammock fabric compresses the hips, which actually feels quite good to most individuals. It's calming to the nervous system in the same way that a massage would be. In addition, the components of this pose um, increase core strength and fine motor development, as well as grasp strength, all of which help a child to navigate through all of the skills and all of the tasks required of childhood. In today's fast-paced, modern world, it is so difficult to find space and carve out time to allow our child uh, the movement that their brain needs, movement of their head in space, going from upright to inverted, 
um, swinging, gliding, and all of these things are components that are in the monkey hang. And it is just so wonderful to be able to allow this for our children, um, especially if you have it in a home or in a studio where children are able to come to. They will usually do it over and over and over again with so much joy. And the joy is actually all that much ben more beneficial to brain development. I hope you enjoy monkey hang. If you do one pose, one yoga pose in the aerial yoga hammock, I think this is it.